What is up, amazing humans? Bar Talk and Coffee. You can have a new year, but if you don't have a new mind, the same experiences that have happened the last 12 months in your life will show themselves again in the next 12 months of your life. Why do I bring that up? Forgive what has happened in the past. Let it go. We are so quick as human beings to walk around and talk about what this person did to me and what this person did to me and what that person did to me and how my job did this and my boss did this and she did that and he did that. And I'm not ignoring the fact that there are some traumatic things that have happened in all of our lives. And I know it takes courage to forgive. It takes courage to forgive, but it serves no purpose for you to talk about what happened yesterday or last week or last month or last year. Listen to me right now. There is no promise looking backwards. There's only promise looking forward. When you hold on to the things that have happened in your past, you are missing out on the many miracles and opportunities that happen in the present. Did you catch that? We miss out because yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a complete mystery, but today's a gift, which is why we call it the present. We have done things to people that probably are not good. And we have had people do things to us that we still hold on to. But yet, we don't, we don't talk about the things that we did to someone else. We hold on to the things that have happened to us. Listen to me, guys. With the new year coming up, you gotta have a new you. You gotta have a renewed mind. The renewing of the mind is powerful. And if you don't have a renewing of the mind and renewing of the soul, then, you're, then you don't have faith. Because you have to have enough faith to believe that when I forgive this past transgression, that I know that the future is going to be a whole lot brighter than what I've been holding on to in the past. I want you so badly to have a new life moving forward. But it only will happen when you finally release and forgive. And you don't talk about it. You don't talk, you don't talk about your problems or the shit that people have done to you. You don't talk about it amongst amongst your fellow females and males. You don't your friends. You don't no don't talk about it anymore. I swear, I, I believe this wholeheartedly, and this is this is a true story. If we as a society would stop focusing on the problems of the past and woke up every day and said, Look at this, I'm alive, the sun is out. I've had all of these many miracles happen in my life. I've had all of these promising moments that have happened in my life. If we stop talking about the past and put more emphasis on the, the promises that have happened in our lives, we would flourish as a society because we would be talking about the things that are promising. Guys, I will leave you with this in today's Bar Talk and Coffee. If you don't forgive, it's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. That's what it's like. Because you are causing internal drama, stress, and you're caught. all these things are in your system. And what that does is that kills you earlier than you know. You take years off of your life by holding on to negativity and past problems. You take years off of your life. Today, start the renewing of your mind. Forgive the people who have done you wrong. And ask for forgiveness for those that you've done wrong. Stop talking about it and start focusing on today. The present, the gift, the many opportunities that show themselves in so many powerful ways but we don't see it because we're so focused on the past. I love you today. Bar Talk and Coffee, Bar Talk Nation, you know what to do. Like, comment, share it. As always, be bold, be great, and above all, be you.